Hey, this is a um, short instructional video on how to use the preset tuner mode uh, to tune this tom. Um, first, you have to create a preset if you want to use the preset tuner. So, how to do that? Uh, let's delete one. So, we're going to add a drum. Press Tom. This one is a 12 inch uh, Tom. Select it. It has six lugs. And we're going to tune it to a 2 with a maximum uh, sustain. Ignore the sustain at the moment. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's save it. Now we're going to select it and then it's loaded into the tuner. First step is to let the app know what is the real fundamental of the drum you're tuning. So to do that, you have to lift the drum so both heads can resonate freely. And then you have to hit the center. Okay, now we have the center frequency. And now we're going to tell the drum, hey, we want to detect the lug pitches. When you have detected the uh, center frequency, switch to edge mode, because we're going to hit the edge to detect the lug pitches. Now, let's check some pitches. 189, 189, 187, 186, 189, and so on. Um, very consistent. Let's tune. Just showing that it's consistent and that the readings are accurate. What happened here and here? TuneBot picked up a higher order overtone. It's gone again, you see. This one can't happen in edge mode. Um, you see, these readings are. Why is that? Because it's picking up higher order overtones. If I would not be in edge mode, but in basic tuner mode, I probably would have them the same kind of readings. 209, I went to basic tuner now, as you can see. This one suddenly is consistent as well. Uh, let's measure here. Good. OK, this one had the wrong reading again. Um, yeah, it will it will happen uh, to Drum Tune Pro also probably at a certain point. And if you want to avoid that, then you just activate lock target on the right frequency. If you have detected the right uh, lock pitch, you have an option lock target. Like if you lock the target, the app will deal with higher order overtones in a very sophisticated way. TuneBot has a, um, another function with a similar effect, and that's the filter button. We activated it on 200 Hz. Now we show uh, the difference with... This is 11 Hz higher. Just unlock it if you want to see the frequency. 